Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another playthrough of Main Supreme. I know this is sort of like the game that I'm really liking the moment, but uh, hopefully you can put up with all of the uploads. <laughs> Alright, uh, ding dong. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll call her Heather today. You know, like a leaf or something, Heather leaf, Heather plant. I don't know what exactly it is. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with uh, plants. Anyway, blah blah magazine blah blah. PhD in bullshit. I always remember that one. <laughs> so, yep, starts. Do 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 do. I am apparently fun. Uh, do 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 do. Fun and smart, right? I would prefer wealth, but never mind. Uh, friendship. Okay, that's Scott. Hi, Scott. <laughs> yeah, I've done these beginning bits so much, now I can just go through them like that. Right, let's see. Uh, I need... Ooh, what do I need? <laughs> I'm not sure. I need money. Where's the money at? That day you spent some time on the library PCs managing your start kicker. You deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice, you get money. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, at the corner of your eye, you spot Scott and Miranda staring intently at a picture of a seahorse. <laughs> this looks like a kill seahorse, Murray. What are you so worried about? Well, you see, one of my daddy's subjects gave this to gave me this horse as a gift. Oh, well, you heard what he said. Oh, it's the horse in the mouth one. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Who are they? What did they say that? What's in there? I don't know. That is why I'm so distraught. I'm terrified that I'll accidentally look into this gift horse mouth and see... See what? Icarus butt? And I'm a tiny horse? A world about sports? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Come on, Mary, you gotta find out. You gotta find out for what's the thing Miss Ferrati is always talking about. Science? Yeah, for science! You got it right. You realize Scott's looking to you for your opinion. They both are. What do you think Miranda should do? Okay, so, uh, one of these is smarts. I'm pretty sure that's smarts. So I'm gonna do that, so I get stats. <laughs> So apparently, losing stats in this game does nothing. <laughs> Mandra is clearly pleased by a suggestion when you run into her the next day, although her pre science site seems to have gone. I took your marvellous suggestion to the logical next level. I had my father's genetic wizards combine my gift horse with a sea urchin. Whatever horrible thing was lurking between those horse lips, they're now too tiny for me to see it. The horse is a little bit spiny now, but I think that just adds to his charm. Yeah, add to my charm, please. Give me charm. Charm, 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 charm. So cute, I can tell he loves it because of the deeply pained expression in his tiny watery eyes. That looks so well, you wonder why you don't solve all your problems with genetic manipulation. You gain creativity and smarts. Ding dong, ding dong. Alright, right, let's see, where are we going? Uh, could go to the wolf pack and get myself some more stats. Or I could go to these guys. Nah, I think stats first. Wolf pack. Yo, dog, we also that jerky. That means you jerks, jerky jerks. It was just eat up, straight up eat up your jerky. Yep, yep, yep. That always happens. This one gets me fun. This one gives me boldness. I want boldness. Do 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 do. do. Climb right into him and plus four. Thank you very much. Let's go. Right, I could go buy stuff, but I don't want him. Uh, charm. I need charm. To the gym in the middle of the night. Epic dodgeball at midnight. Surely we must be tired from at that. Let you see Miranda and Vera cornered by the wolf pack who are watching them like a pack of wolves. Perhaps because they are. Yay! We haven't seen this one before. How would one of you ladies like to go on a date tonight with the hardest dogs ever to not be literal hot dogs? I wouldn't. At all. This is not at all how I like my courtships to begin. Where are the jewels? Where are the flowers? Where are the bloody heads of my enemies? Still attached to their torsos, I'm afraid. So sad. Oh man, we'll show you courtship on the court when we win on the court at sports. We'll show you sportship courtship. Okay, th I think this is how jocks literally think, so checks out. Every time I think the guys at the school can't get any dumb. <laughs> oh, I get it, you're both shy. Don't worry, our barks are worse than our bites. Except when we're doing sports! Because then we bring it. Yeah! But if neither of you have the competence to say which one wants to go out with us tonight, we can just choose for you. 
Yikes, like they're relatively well intentioned, but you should definitely step in and save one of them. Tonight, Miranda can't. I have two tickets to Cirque du Lemaire. Is Morton to watch her? Oh, you don't want to go out with Vera. I hear her snakes have syphilis. <laughs> That's got to be the bold one. This this is probably smarts or creativity. Well, boldness is my stat. Yes, that's exactly right. They do have syphilis. <laughs> Poison flows from my very veins. I'm a powerful, dangerous, bad bitch. Okay, Randy Orton. <laughs> fear me, you puny little mortal. So fear my ability to destroy you effortlessly. And you know what? I think I just heard Coach calling us. We need to go practice. Not getting STDs. <laughs> With that, the wolf pack is out. Vera, I am so sorry to hear about your illness. I had no idea. Mary, my snakes don't actually have syphilis. <laughs> we were just giving them the slip. Oh no, you started something awful, but at least it worked. You gained plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want my charm. Let's go. More charm. That day, an epic dodging ball takes place again. It's literally the morning after. We're getting so into spots, the wolf pack should want to go out with us. Yeah, give me that charm. You see Miranda and Vera <laughs> chatting away, their eyes gleaming, the gleam of the scheming. Crowd surf isn't doing nearly as well as I thought it would. Oh, if it isn't Heather. Would you like to be a customer? Once upon a time, surfs were only for the rich and fabulous. Like Vera and myself. But now thanks to our app, Crowd Surfs, you too can have your very own crowdfunded surf. Yep, you can have crowdfunded servants. The app is being generously funded by my royal family, who wish for everyone to experience the joys of royalty. And get richer off it. I think our business might be failing because the serfs are simply not of high enough quality to maintain customer interest. The serfs need to have had more enthusiasm for their jobs. We need to recruit from the right locations. Don't be absurd if this one thing being royalty has taught me. And there's definitely more than one. It's that you can trick anyone into doing anything as long as you give them the right incentives. But why not start with the easily manipulated in the first place? Heather, what do you think? Hmm, so I can have viewers. Why not recruit people who want to be bossed around at a leather daddy convention? Oh, Miranda's a point. Everyone w wants to win. Host an unpaid labor competition where the prize is doing more un <laughs> unpaid labor. Now, see, all of Miranda's things that she ever suggests are creativity, whereas viewers are smart, so I'm going to viewers. Only because I have smartness up the wazoo. Ooh, I like that quite a bit. Excuse me, but if there were conventions for daddies, I'm quite sure I would know about them. My father is one of the most powerful dads I know, so if he was not invited... <laughs> just start the Draco Malfoy voice now. My father will hear of this! <laughs> just stop there, Miranda. Trust me. How does this sound? Free lifetime submission. Dirty talk guaranteed. Dress code, come as you are. Vero, with the help of confused Miranda, goes to the next Lever Daddy convention in town. The next time you see Vera and Miranda, they seem much, much happier. These serfs we recruit are so enthusiastic to serve. Almost inexplicably so. And as an unexpected fringe benefit, all the serfs keep trying to one-up each other's uniforms. So I create a line of latex and leather wear that's making almost as much as crowd serfs in the first place. It's a win-win situation. Don't worry, whatever. I won't ask you how you got to know so much about the fetish community. <laughs> Yay, signing with Vera always makes her happy. And to show her appreciation, she gives you plus two money she earned, and you gain plus one smirts. All the smirts. Too much smirts. Alright, so the coach is over here. I wonder what's going on with that. I've never actually seen much of Scott and Damien like, talking together. Slayer... Miranda and Vera seem to be best friends on this run. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to these guys, simply because I want to see what's going on. You find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers them on. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> go, boys, go. Much your way to victory. Ah, uh, there's no truer sport than the Indian contest. Thent crotch. Crotch. Okay. Shove him, let me eat. It looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Distract Scott with surprise. Uh, fireworks or slava Damien's dogs in holy ketchup. Hell yeah, holy ketchup. Best thing ever. 
You put your bottle of Brother Caliente's father son and the holy ghost pepper ketchup and dump it on Damien's dogs. Mm, yeah, finally a sauce hot enough for- Oh fuck, my soul is melting! <laughs> Power through, Damien. The heat you're feeling is just the fires of determination. No fire I can handle. This ketchup is fucking consecrated! I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> allergic reactions are just weakness leaving the body, Damien. Keep it up. I'm pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice. Coach, I quit. Well, I guess I mean Scott the winner. Congratulations, Scott. Hooray! I love winning! <laughs> Great, hooray. Now will someone take me to the nurse's office? Hooray! I love helping! <laughs> Scott rushes off carrying Damon's smoking body, and you rush just a little closer to Scott's heart, apparently. <laughs> that was funny. I like that one. Consecrated ketchup. I have to remember that. I can't get any more charm because it's off limits, so we'll get some creativity. Figurative oral sex because, yep. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. You sneak a little closer to an eavesdrop. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize. Sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like... I don't want to stop making people look dumb just so we can make money. <laughs> I don't want to sell out. Personally, I can't wait to sell out, but you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah, how do we get rich off yanking people's chains? <laughs> Careful your choice of po choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for ghosts. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution. Why don't you make up a phony workout, Chris? It worked for Frank Pillet, the owner of Pillet, inventor of Pillet. Or, oh man, do I have a great prank for you? I call it stealing. Yet yeah, Polly's are always fun. Vera's are smart, so we'll go for. Smart. Oh, that's creativity. Well, am I glad that I got the creativity up? Oh my god, that's so good! We can make up- Oh, I forgot, Vera loves money, so stealing would work for her. Damn! We can make up a bunch of ridiculous exercises like tongue squats and dick crunches. Yeah, okay, Polly, I somehow feel like there may be a problem with that one. <laughs> Encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. Let's see, one week subscription to our proprietary exercise tracker for one dollar. Forty nine 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 for every hour thereafter. <laughs> I think we may actually turn a profit on this one, Polly. And hey, if a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, I'm not going to complain if you know what I mean. Wow, wow, Polly. Always with the sexy times. You have no idea what you've just unleashed on the world, but these two seem happy with you. You gain plus one creativity and plus two smarts. Booyah! Let's go! Let's go. Right, I want ten charm. Give me ten charm. Epic dodgeball match, again! All we do is play fucking balls! Oh, I gained a BFF. <laughs> Not part of this game, so that beautiful apprenticeship will take place off screen, and plus two charm. Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned and only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. There. there you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise and I need a consigliere. The idea is simple yet brilliant. Thank Uber, but for killing people. Oh, okay. I call it murder. But it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack, and since you're such a good advisor, differentiate yourself by having the only service that offers free-range organic murders or viral marketing, literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. That sounds good. I'm too smart for you, game! Haha! <laughs> you can do that? Great. You can use my private chemical weapons factory. <laughs> oh wow, she's like a demonic Dexter's laboratory. And so... This is working better than I can ever have imagined. Demand for murder has gone through the roof since she released that virus. Sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, <laughs> male lactation, cobra feet, time dilation, rigor mortis, rectal teeth. Renegade spleen, microaggressions, <laughs> microaggressions, <laughs> hit him! Sun tattoos, hair trauma, liquefaction, coughing. But it's well worth it for the profits I'm raking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing selling people the antidote for all those side effects. It's not actually an antidote, though. It's just <laughs> actually just heroin. Same difference. 
Heroin, it makes you feel good. Did they know you used to give heroin to babies as a cough suppressant? Yeah, the real world is exactly as immoral as this video game. But whatever, you gain plus two creativity and plus one money. Money! Money, money, money! Let's go. I have so much money. I need fun. Slayer, you can give me fun, right? So, psst, hey, how would you like to turn against your friends in exchange for forbidden knowledge? Oh, this was the very first thing I ever did. Betraying your friends sounds bad, but forbidden knowledge sounds dope. You listen to a pitch. Basically, I need you to tell me Damien and Liam's hidden weaknesses for, like, totally innocent reasons. And in exchange, I'll teach you one of my most secret Slayer techniques. What's that you say? You totally do it, and I can trust what you say 100%. Which techniques do you want to learn? I'll be a protagonist and you say, you know, how to punch a dude so hard his head explodes. I'm going to do that one. You tell the Slayer that Liam's weakness is tense silence and Damien's weakness is back rubs. Really? But that's so simple. I'll bury them in pregnant pauses and manual tension release, respectively. Um... Oh, you want to know my secret technique? There's nothing easier. Just punch someone, right? But instead of punching them hard, punch them really, really hard. The Dragon Ball Z way. You punched hard, and now you've even punched really hard. What, really, really hard? That's revolutionary. You test out your newfound skills on the Slayer. You don't have enough practice to make her head explode just, just yet, but you do manage to give her a terrible headache. You can't plus four boldness. Well then. Okay, that's the last time I can do those. Because if I don't get enough hearts with, I guess, Vera now, I'm not going to get any more. Well, need fun. Yeah, fun, 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 fun. You're making a dairy protection payment to Vera when suddenly... Everyone, stop what you're doing and look at my majestic visage. The interdimensional prince, muscling in on my territory, are you? Not at all, my darling Viperess. I am here strictly in a business capacity. Business, you say? I'm all ears, except for my snakes, which are all tongues and teeth. It's simple economics, my love. You're an aspiring crime kingpin. I'm a prince. I propose a merger? That's not how the mafia works, is it? <laughs> a merger of our resources, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Oh, he's asking for sex. Interesting. Oh no, Vera's getting out her calculator. If she decides this merger is financially viable, good luck asking her to prom. But how will you undermine Vera's confidence in the prince's financial status? Replace all his gold with fish, or steal all his money with your high-frequency trading algorithm. Yeah, let's do that. Before you draw up the contract, I hope you won't mind providing a full accounting of your assets. Of course not, my dear. As you can see from this spreadsheet, my entire kingdom is... Owned by someone named Carl! <laughs> Let me see that. You idiot! Carl isn't a person, it's a computer algorithm! Probably sounds something like... Computerized Autonomous Robotic light bulb. Yeah! Yeah, that works. Nope, doesn't stand for anything. It's just Carl. You get plus two points and plus one smart. <laughs> Woo! Insane amounts of stats! Right, let's get some more fun. Oh, never mind. Hi there. Well, I suppose I could just buy... No, that kills my charm. Uh... No cocaine. This, this stuff all wrecks my stuff. Yeah, exit. I'm going. Goodbye, shopkeeps. Uh, I keep doing that. I always don't look before I leave. Righty-ho! Right over here we go. No, that's not the right place. Right over here we go. Oh, damn. I don't think I've ever seen Vera and Scott do much. Watching Vera eat is usually pretty disturbing. Her snakes eat at the same time she does, but at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Go lefty, gobble that mouse. No, no, watch out for wiggles coming from behind. Use that tongue. Go! Ugh, she does this every week or so whenever my snakes need a meal. He seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. Also, I don't think he realizes an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays to do this. He keeps track of each snake's statistics on a little index card. He's even given them names. Go Sliver, go Bendy, go Sanchez, go Snake Snake! Those aren't their names. God, no matter how much he pays for the tickets, it isn't enough! <laughs> this seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how, by opening your mouth and yelling. Boring, this is nothing compared to Earthworm eating contests, so... Snake, 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 eat that food and stay awake! Yeah, let's do that one. Vera likes that. What? There's a more exciting spot than Snake eating contests? You gotta tell me about it. 
Oh yeah, Earthworm eating contests are literally crawling with suspense. And even better, they're going on all the time, with thousands of players in each game. Thousands? Where's the game? Where do I go? Anywhere there's dirt. Anywhere? There's dirt in so many places! So many places that aren't here. Get going! Spots that game or something, whatever. I will, Vera, I will! I swear one of these days he's gonna decide Chucky on his food as a spot and die! <laughs> While you hope Scott doesn't actually die, the main thing on your mind right now is how Vera's smiling at you. Nice! Ding! Alright, welcome to Tet Evening. I need fun. She's still there? Ah, uh, No fun for me. Charm it is. Epic dodgeball match takes place. At one point you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears and you take advantage of that moment of weakness throwing a ball at him. You lose mercy. The sign that might be useful in Monster Prom's sequel but isn't now and your game plus two charm. Between class periods, you discovered a severed horse head in your locker. It has a note in its mouth telling you to meet Vera SFP. I'm so glad you've come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app based assassinations, and yet. The other crime lords don't take me seriously. Just because I'm not a 40 year old man with a scary scar, those sexist morons think this is just a phase for me. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? It's disgusting. How can I show these chauvinistic goons what crime really means to me? Come on, think of something, you're my most trusted advisor. I am a vizier. Quit crime, they'll come crawling backwards to see about it as well, you. Or write a song about it, I'll help. Yeah, this one. Hey, I'm charming enough for that. You know, if this advice is coming for anyone other than you, I'd ignore it, but you haven't been wrong yet. Fine, as of today I'm quitting crime. I'll let the other bosses know. I'm sure they'll be so pleased. A few days later, you're getting manicure with Vera when Gonbozo Gignati, arch humorist of the deranged clown assembly, burst in weeping. Well, either he's weeping or he's got a sad face painted on his regular face. It's hard to tell with clowns. What are you doing here, Bozo? Didn't they tell you I quit crime? Gonbozo makes a series of gestures, honks, and quacks. Clownish. <laughs> Luckily, Vera is fluent. What's that you say? The world of crime is a wreck without me? Do tell! Hmm, he says nobody's been able to get good poison since I retired. Everyone's money is frightfully unlaundered. As half the bosses are dead because of the vit letters I sent out announcing my sabbatical were full of vicious fungal spots. Well, I had no idea you're all so miserable about me. You can tell the bosses I'm back in the game. Gunbozo leaps up in the air and clicks the heels of his enormous red shoes. I love you too, Bozo. We'll have a gang war to celebrate! See you on the battlefield! Gunbozo runs out with the nail salon and passes into his tiny car with his 20 closest friends. <laughs> 20 clouds in a tiny car! Vera looks at you dumbstruck. I must say, I never thought this would work. You truly are a loyal advisor. Oh, if only you could be more than just an advisor. You can't risk sharing your true feelings. Better just take the plus two smarts of money and move on. Well, the money helps, but it will never, never fill the void in my heart. <laughs> right, she's buggered off from the tree. Give me that fun. I don't know. All of this is... I've seen them all already. You know, it's Vera and Miranda at the end of the ray with their arms crossed. You dance over to try and find out what's up. I truly want to be excited about this eprocious event, but... I'll say we're both thinking. This rave looks like a techno trash fire. I do not wish to be crude, but it's true. I want to hang out and have a good time, but I cannot relax in this chaotic environment. I put some thoughts into this, and I think the problem is a lack of colour coordination. It almost always is. That's why my father painted everyone in the kingdom aquamarine. Oh, that's why they have blue skin. But we have no legal authority at this rave. How, how will we ever coordinate their colours? That's why I'm stuck right now, frankly. If only there was some way. Filter everyone through this dangerous magic prism or colour-seeking German shepherds. Uh, this one looks good. More smarts. Dear God. <laughs> how my smarts are going to go crazy. You pull out the prism of color separation that you crafted in your AP attack fashion class. You toss it into the center of the dance and it lights up like an extremely deadly disco ball. Look, it's looking in students and spinning them out in lines according to the color of their outfits. Why are they screaming? Does this mean it's working? <laughs> that's, that's the rule I'd like to give to everything. Yes, that's what that means. 
The prison destroys several students because it can't determine the primary color of their outfits, but that's what they get for not matching. You gain plus two charm and plus one smart. I do believe I need more money now. I think that Vera requires smart, charm, and money. I'm not 100% though. At any rate, let's go get some more Vera heart points. Vera's about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever at this school, Barney. When Miranda screams, Stop! Don't drink that! Why not? This scotch costs more than most cars. Has your taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if your drink is poisoned by someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Mary, I only drink four things. Scotch, red wine, the tears of my enemies, and straight up poison. You drink poison on purpose? Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? Well, 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 you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your drink? Or, or poison? Ugh. What do I have to do to get you to drop this? Simple. Hire a taster. Fine. Any volunteers? This might be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand and when Vera picks, picks you, you... Drink all of her scotch in Raging Mirror and Delight Miranda, or pretend to be poisoned, terrify Miranda and amusing Vera. I'll just be a second, guys. Alright, back, sorry. Pretend to be poisoned, terrifying Miranda and amusing Vera. That's better. You shoot Vera wink, take the tiniest sip of her scotch, and then... No, no, stop vomiting! How will you be able to taste for poison if you're too busy foaming at the mouth and vomiting? You fool, she's poisoned. Run and tell the authorities before this poor sap's face melts off or something. Oh dear, oh my, I'm no good in crisis situations. Curse my uniformly pleasant childhood. Miranda faints with the utmost drama. If there's one thing princesses are good for, it's fainting. <laughs> that was hilarious. I should put poison in my scotch more often. You can stop vomiting now, by the way. She passed out. Oh, do you need the antidote? Alright, here you go. I guess I should have let you know that Scotch was actually poisoned. <laughs> oh well, how about we get ice cream to make up for it? Your stomach's still too weak for ice cream, but you're never too sick to spend some quality time with Vera, apparently. <laughs> we need some money. Money! Money! Spend some time, online poker, give me the money. Money, 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 money. You see Miranda, Vera, and Polly gathered around a table covered in books. Could they be studying? Nowhere. I hereby call this meeting of the boss ass bitches to order. <laughs> I've gathered all prior school yearbooks so we have a clear list of everyone we're better than. The wow, what a great use of your time. Who said that? Oh, great. It's the cover. What are you three doing here? I'm studying because this is a library at school. <laughs> Spies! Villains! Impersonating us! What? What? <laughs> Don't you see? Vera and these three are obviously our evil twins. The middle one is mean and bossy like you. What are you talking about, Polly? We got a class of you. You would know if you three didn't spend all your time doing stupid and mostly illegal stuff. I want follow for your tricks, evil Vera. Are you implying the evil Vera isn't kind of evil herself? And look, Vera, the one on the right has glasses, just like Polly. I need these to see. And she has dark skin. She's clearly dark, Polly. That's that's too racist for words. Whoa. Oh my goodness, bitches is only one letter away from witches. Good lord. Say, would you three mind studying somewhere else? You're upsetting my minions. Never. Good grades are the backbone of a bright future. We need all this knowledge to save the world from the big bad. Oh boy, if you don't figure out a way to get the coven out of here, you might have to break up a brawl. Any ideas? Whip out your rooster! Witches hate roosters! <laughs> yeah! Let's take out our cocks and wave it at them. Chop up all the study tales with a big axe. Doing it. Ah, no! Get that filthy cock away from us! <laughs> Good thinking. Witches are repelled by the rooster, as it is a symbol of the dawn. No, roosters are just mean and we don't want to catch any diseases. Fine, we're leaving. It's even more proof that there are evil twins. See? I love cocks and pussies. Um, okay, alright, that, that's cool, that's totally cool. 
I too love animals. As though he's saying in my kingdom, the chicken is the tuner of the land. Alright, they're gone. You can put your cock away. <laughs> Though you did just use him quite skillfully. If you're so impressed, she lets you sit on the first meeting of the boss. That's bitches. You offer us so much shade, your rooster decides it's night time and goes to sleep. <laughs> you gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Well, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, off we go to creativity. Woo, creatives! Soon after you hurry away to join Vera for an after school rendezvous, she's arranged a romantic evening at the Stock Exchange. <laughs> Clearly, watching the fall of companies is romantic. There you are, I'm so happy you joined me here that I have momentarily forgotten my hatred for all beings. You what? You thought we were going to dinner? No, silly, how am I supposed to make a profit at dinner? If you're hungry, just eat some money. There's plenty of it lying around. Look, I invited you here because I wanted to share something really special with you. You see all these people here? These sociopaths screaming at each other in 10,000 door suits? This is my family. Well, not literally. I never met my birth parents. It's more like a room full of my worst enemies. But what's family after all but a room full of your enemies? Anyway, enough chit chat. The real reason I brought you here was to help me make money. <laughs> make with the stock tips. You know absolutely nothing about the stock market, but that's never stopped you before, you tell her. Buy one of anything or sell it all, all we need is each other. Well, that's clear charm, and that's something. Uh, yeah, buy one of everything. Oh, that's bold. One of everything? How could you be so, so brilliant? If I have a, one of every stock, no matter which one goes up, I'll have a share of it. My profits are assured. Wait, what are you doing over there, tearing off that stockbroker's suspenders? Are you... My god, you're even cleverer than I thought! You didn't mean I should buy one of every stock, you meant I should buy one of everything! It didn't mean buy, you meant steal! You, sir, your pants, give them to me! Don't argue with me, I have snakes for hair! <laughs> um, we've got into the crazy zone. You and Vera dash around the room, stealing suit jackets, gold watches, silk underwear, and a very nice pot of plants. I've never felt more alive! Did you know that 90% of paper money contains traces of cocaine? There was more than money in that money salad you guys just ate. You gained plus two creativity and plus one money. Well, gee, okay. Let's go. Hello, Vera and Liam. Vera holds up hands. Stop, this is the cool people table. Yep, cool things, cool people. We've got to basically not try, so we're going to not try by skipping past this. And then I have to give Vera 50 monster dollars. I haven't seen this outcome, so we're going to read this one. Okay, you're cool. What? Money can't buy coolness. Really? Let me consult my things some money can buy. Let's see. Or organs, obedience, and there it is. Coolness. Why is coolness in the or section of your list? Because it's not a real list. I pretended there was a list in order to fuck with you. Okay, that's pretty cool. Speaking of cool, while I can't concurrently accept cash for campaign finance reasons, <laughs> I will remember this favorably in the future. Perhaps I'll call you later for other favours. You hope these favours are sexual in nature, but you don't say that because that's not a cool thing to say. Right, last day. We've gone everything right. So I'm going to just make sure by getting extra monies. And hopefully this will be enough. Your mind's barely on what... Your mind's barely on what you're doing. Oh dear, we have a grammar thing. What is about is your situation with Vera? Pro Halosis Gang War, you've been closest to most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. You're worried Vera's become so dependent on your advice, she's blind to your true romantic attentions. If only you had the courage to tell how you really feel. After all, you don't want to end up in the advisor zone. <laughs> You're so lost in thoughts of unrequited love, you hardly notice Vera sneaking up on you. Maybe yeah, that's also because of the invisibility cloak you have to pick out. There you are. I was just going to pick you up. We've got a date tonight. A date? Then perhaps your affections aren't unrequited. We have the head of Monster City's major crime factions to celebrate the end of the latest gang war. You're such a good and loyal helper, I couldn't imagine going without you. Right, of course. Trying to hide your disappointment, you accompany Vera to the peace conference, but soon... You can have horse racing if you think I'm giving up murder's monopoly. You've got your head so far up your ass it's popped back out your shirt collar. 
Larry, the actual crocodile, snaps his fangs. Gunbozzi Gayanetti of the deranged clown assembly honks in disapproval. Timmy, the knife baby, chews his rattle menacingly. <laughs> Alright, you scumbag, settle down. But it's too late. Light the croc unveils a wicked machine gun. Gunbozzo makes a rocket launch out of twisted balloons, and Timmy, the knife baby, produces a lot of knives. Hey, advisor, a little help here. If you don't say Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and... Kiss like the croc in his big croc to mouth, or confess my feelings. Oh, boy. That one seems more helping her out. Yeah, the way that she is, I really see her appreciating me not getting emotionally distracted, so I'll do that. Yeah, I'm bold enough. Fuck it, if you're not going to get with Vera, you might as well get it on with a freaky crocodile, dude. You locked lips. What What are you doing? Are you trying to bite his teeth off, are you? Oh, oh, wow. Like the croc is even more surprised than Vera. He and the other crime lords drop their weapons in amazement. Giving Vera the perfect opportunity to shoot them all with her own akimbo hoosies. <laughs> Love conquers all, suckers. Now what might the blood and crocodile slayer off ever? I'm taking you out to dinner. Oh, don't blush. I knew you were just trying to make me jealous by making out with that dangerous crime reptile. But you know what? It totally worked. With Vera as the new queen of crime in your city, anything is possible. <laughs> she even gets you the, <laughs> the plastic surgery to cover up the croc bites. You can plus two charm and plus one fun. Alright. Let's go, shall we? Let's go. Prom? You know what, my dear advisor? I think lately I'm focusing too much on our crime adventures. It's nice to be rich and feared. What's the point if you don't get to enjoy life from time to time? So I have the feeling prom night could be a great way to unwind. What do you advise me to do? And then she, she winks at you. It's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has an eye covered. In the end, you and Vera have a lovely evening together. Followed by lots of thrilling cli crime adventures. Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even support her career by being her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of juggling being partners in both love and crime. Also because Vera's great at everything she does. Also, she reminds you constantly. Also, she reminds you that the two of you may be partners in love, but in crime, you're still superior and advisor. But that's Vera for you. And under all that ferocious confidence, you can also perceive a deep respect for you. So beautiful! Crime is always the answer! And that, my friends, was a secret ending. So yet again, I didn't manage to get the proper ending for Vera. <laughs> but I did get an ending, and it was pretty sweet. <laughs> the biggest mystery in life is how all this was necessary for my career. Most likely to make Pluto a planet again. Pluto is a planet! Alright, just now for the end bit. S still don't know who that guy is. <laughs> Monster from you know what? It's whatever. Vera really built the Oberlin Empire into an endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into a lot of sketchy business. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try and stop Vera? Scott here an athlete. He won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. Polly took a summer job as Ghost Christmas present. And yep. It doesn't really give you it doesn't really give you any of the things if you get the secret endings. I think that you want to get the special endings at that bit if you actually do take them a prom and you need more stuff after. Because, you know, the ending kind of wasn't really that oblivious. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This has been another Monster Prom. And 20 more to go. Thank you for watching.